Hey guys, I'm Elliot, this is Everything Elliot, and this is a street light. So today we're gonna solve the issue that I have in the wood yard, and that's I can't work it dark because, well, it gets dark outside. I purchased the street light at auction like, I don't know, four or five years ago. I had two, I must have given the other one away, but essentially I just made the mount for it, and we're gonna mount it up in a tree. So I have to wire it uh, because I'm just gonna leave a plug dangle, and that's about it, I think. So let's open this thing up and see what it looks like in there. Pretty simple design, and uh, I think I got some 12-2 kicking around, and that pipe we just made will slide right into here. This should be a pretty easy project. All right, well, I have some 14-2 MC, so that's what we're gonna use. I can't imagine this thing pulls that much amps. Can't imagine that pulls much at all. All right, I wonder if that post is dry. All right, post is not dry, so we'll just start with the wiring. And I guess feed the wire through the post. Now, I am not in a licensed electrician, so don't judge me. When you're using MC, you're supposed to put an anti-short in there. It's a little red like piece of plastic, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not a licensed electrician. This is 14-2 strand, so this should be plenty. Let's see why it wouldn't be. All right, so realistically, the next step is to mount that pipe in the tree. So I guess we'll go do that. So just to give you guys an idea, there's the wood splitter, there's the pile of logs, and there's the tree that we're gonna put it in. We're gonna put it in that birch right there, which is already dead, unfortunately. And if you're wondering, yes, I am eyeballing absolutely everything on this project. That's crooked as I'll get up, but it'll run. I believe they say, that'll do, pig. That'll do. All right. This old girl's heavier than it looks. Oh, that's up there. All right, three points of contact. This would have been a really good time to wear that GoPro on my head. That should, should work. I don't know how bright it's gonna be at the splitter. I probably should have put that at a harder angle. I'm gonna go grab a socket and we'll tighten this thing down on the bar so it doesn't fall off here. Not that I ever think it would. Do I even want to? Yeah, because what if it spins? Just occurred to me when people are driving by at night, they're gonna think I got a stadium back here or something. I've had this thing out and I just like kind of set it on something and it is bright. So for right now, I'm just gonna leave it where it is with the wire where it is because I'm gonna come test it tonight. And if it doesn't go far enough, we'll move it upward in the tree. And I got plenty of wire on the ground to do that. I could go another four or five feet up. So I can just get my extension ladder out. All right, last thing to do, I gotta put a plug end on this and then we'll come back tonight when it gets a little darker and we'll test it out. I suppose you can't see real well, so maybe I'll get you a little closer. Yeah, there it is up in the tree.
Also, this light works super well, and uh, you almost need sunglasses. I mean, we're under it right now. As you can see in the background, it is very dark outside, but not where I'm at. Super happy with it. Seems like it is concentrated a little bit over the logs uh, and a little less over the splitter. I mean, it's still plenty bright. You can work over there, but we might end up moving that light up another four or five feet up to there. That should give us some more angle over to the splitter. Now keep in mind, these lights are designed to be like 20 feet up in the air, so putting in another five, six feet in the air really isn't gonna hurt anything. Oh, I forgot to mention, how am I powering the light? Yeah, I don't wanna run a cord out here all the time, so I'm gonna show you what I did. So this is a Van Power Super Power Pro. They sponsored me a long time ago, and I absolutely love this thing. You can see the plug is plugged into it, and uh, yeah, we got 73% left. It was at like 75 when I plugged it in, and it's putting out uh, 209 watts, 210 watts-ish. So I'll get, at current current charge rate, I'll get 4.6 hours of runtime on this old girl. I'm also interested in going to do a video in the future on running that electric chainsaw off this thing, so we'll see how that goes. Well guys, like I was just saying, I'm under the light. I'm super happy with the way it turned out. I'm going to be working in here. I'm gonna be working in here. I'm going to be able to work in here in the wood yard late into the night. Now I had mentioned that this log splitter does not wake my son up because it's a constant tone. I mean, what time is it? It's past bedtime for me, but who would I be not to throw a log through it? So we'll try it out. Guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe down below, hit the like button and leave a comment. That helps the algorithm tell YouTube that you enjoyed my video, and that others might enjoy it as well. So make sure you do those three things for me. Until the next video, hope you guys have a great day. Boy, I am standing directly in the light so you guys can't see anything. How am I gonna fix this? Maybe I'll load the log tray and then come to that side. I'm only gonna split like three or four rounds. There, is that better? Can you see a little more? Yeah, it's bright enough I can split at night. That's huge. Mm -hmm.